It's a busy holiday weekend camping off a chaotic summer for millions traveling across the country. A third of Americans expected to take to the roads and skies this Labor Day weekend. Most will be driving, finally getting some good news at the pump. Gas now averaging 382 a gallon, down 40 cents in a month. But millions will also be going through airports after a summer of travel misery. I just want to check in with uh, New York Tracon one more time, reference Newark. At the FAA Command Center in Virginia, they're in high gear, tracking every plane moving across the country, coordinating commercial flights, private planes, rescue, and military operations. Now, after a summer of travel misery for millions of passengers, FAA managers are focused on keeping the airspace moving through this weekend and into the fall, especially in Florida, where air traffic control centers were understaffed and unprepared for the surge in visitors this year. What lessons have you learned here at the FAA from the last six, eight months or so? We have to make sure we have the right people in the right place. Uh, and we've done that this year with making sure that controllers are now uh, added to the to Jacksonville staffing. That passenger flood into Florida expected to continue through the winter and next spring. The busiest travel day so far this year, May 19th, nearly 51,000 flights. Right now they're averaging about 47,000 or so. The biggest potential disruptor this weekend, as always, the weather. FAA meteorologist Roland Nunez. These are where the disturbances are, and they're actually moving across. This uh, one in particular going across Oklahoma and went over towards uh, the Florida area. Meanwhile, at 12 of the country's busiest airports, Atlanta to Chicago, Detroit to LAX, the nation's biggest pilots union continues an off-duty picket, not a strike. They're in contract talks, and they want more money and an end to the record overtime they've worked as airlines have struggled with a shortage of pilots. They have tried to put schedules back in place that are pre-pandemic level flying, but they don't have the pilots and flight crews trained to do so. Delta says the union's goal is to gain leverage at the negotiating table. So, Tom, let's go from the uh, skies to the roads here. As you mentioned, there are going to be a lot of cars on the road this weekend. Give us some tips yeah. to try and beat the traffic. So keep in mind, we're talking about more than 100 million people traveling in some form over the next few days. Leave early. If you can, leave as soon as the Today Show is over, not before. Leave this morning. And if you can, if you're going to wait until tomorrow, leave early tomorrow. The other tips might involve, in fact, if you're going to be driving on Labor Day itself, you want to leave, if you can, before 4 p.m. or after 10 p.m. Uh, and then try to program the GPS. Listen, this is one of those things I always forget when I get in the car. Look for those opportunities to avoid road closures or heavy construction or whatever. And then I'm in the jam and my wife says, you didn't program the GPS. I, yeah, you're right. So uh, try to program the GPS early to avoid those obstacles if you can. This does save you time, guys. Our transportation correspondent getting, <laughs> getting grief from his wife. I love that. Tom, very, very relatable. Tom Costello. Tom, thank you, sir. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.